Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to take you through a tutorial on how to create a countdown timer using Adobe Flash. The method is pretty simple, but I'm just going to show you the code that I've generated already so that you can see what it should look like when you're done. So here I am inside of Flash, and before I show you the code, I'm just going to run the program so you can kind of watch this in action. So I'm going to hold Control and push Enter, and it'll export my movie for me. And it begins counting down after the first second. And so every second that goes by, it basically counts down progressively all the way down to zero. So we're going to take it on faith that it gets to zero. I don't want to wait for 45 seconds. You'll notice this little error that it pops up, or I should say warning it pops up, about embedding text. You can ignore it for the purposes of this. Best practice is to embed your text, but I have not done that. It's a very small program, so you really most of the time don't need to worry about it too much. So, here on my timeline, what I have is I've got two different layers. On one layer, I've got this chunk of text that I have named TXT Timer. And the reason that I named the instance was so that I could refer to it in code. And then we have another layer, and its only job is to hold our code. So I'm going to click on that frame and push F9. And here we are. And this is a you know, fairly simple code to make this thing work. You'll notice there's no loops involved or anything like that. Essentially, all we're doing is we're creating this integer variable called start value. And we've named it 45. Now, we can put this to anything. I'll demonstrate that at the end of the video. But we're going to add this event listener. And this is on the stage, but it could be on anything. In fact, we could even add this onto the chunk of text itself. It just basically needs to generate an event listener. And it's listening for something called enter frame. All that means is that every time we go through a frame, it's going to activate the code. So from frame one to two to three, so it's playing this code at the frame rate. While we're on that topic, if this was playing at 24 frames per second, which is Flash's default, that timer would go by like that. So to get this to kind of look the way that I wanted it to, I'm going to close out the code window. You can see down here in the FPS, I've changed it to one. So that basically means it's one frame for every second. So instead of trying to fool around with uh, you know, CPU timing or anything like that, I've just said for every second I want to go through a frame. And then I told the code for every frame we go through, make the timer go down a second. So it kind of all blends together nicely. So let's go back into the code view. And I'm just pushing F9 to open up the code, by the way. And so here we are. You know, we're going to generate this countdown function. Go into that every time the frame goes by. And we're just checking to see if the start value is greater than 0. So we don't want this timer to go into the negative. We want to go down to 0. And then when it hits 0, we are going to not do anything. So we could put in a, if it equals zero, then remove the function, which is kind of best practice. I haven't done it. It's a very small program, so you're not going to notice any resource hogging, but best usage is, if you've got an event running that is going to stop at some point, put in a check for when it should stop and then remove that event listener, so that you're not constantly re-executing code that doesn't need to be executed. So, and the very end of the the function here, the last line, is just to change the text timer's text to whatever the value of our value, our start value is. And that just continues to go down one second at a time. Real quick, I'm going to change this value to five seconds. And let's, let's hold control and push enter and see what that looks like. So frame goes by, we start our countdown. and it holds at zero. You'll notice though it did flash a 45 at us real quick. That has nothing to do with the code. If we go back to the, the stage here, we've set the default to 45. And so it, well the way flash works is it executes a frame zero and then a frame one. That's why it paused for a moment when it started. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create a countdown timer in Adobe Flash. I'm Josiah Ray.